Hello everybody. In this video, I want to show you how to use the maskin in planar scoping. In planar, there are different ways of maskin and maskin technique. But in this video, I don't want to explain every technique of maskin. I only want to explain the practical and effective ways of maskin. In the practical workflow, nobody uses very difficult way of masking. In my scabbing workflow, I scab almost without no masking. So, uh, you only need to know some quick way and effective way of masking to really scab. For quick and effective masking, we can use mask brush. Shortcut for mask brush is N. In scabbing mode, press M to change to mask brush and press M again to change back to your previous scabbing brush. Default brush strength for the mask brush is 0.4, but I usually use the brush strength for mask brush as a strength 1 because I want the 100% mask. I also turn off the pen pressure icon so I get the 100% complete mass. I also change the mass brush fallout to spear. The default is smooth. I don't like the smooth edges of the masking, so I always use the spear fallout. This is masking with fallout spear. And this is the maskin with fallout smooth. To remove sand part of the maskin, press Ctrl and drag. To completely remove the old mask, press Alt M. Alt M is clear mask. So there are many shortcuts for maskin. If you don't want to memorize all of these shortcuts for masking, uh, there is one master shortcut for masking by menu. This shortcut is A. You can press A to call the masking by menu. With this masking by menu, we can do every operations with masking. And this is in one masking. And this is clear masking. And it is also smooth mask. And it is also sharpened mask. This is the groove mask. And this is the shrink mask. Other masking related options are also here in the mask menu. And uh, pause mask is B. And listen mask is control shift and drag. Other mask options are here. Expand mask by normal and expand mask by topology, which can be done by the shockers. But these options are not helpful in the practical use, in my opinion, so I rarely use this. If you want to match some area very quickly, post masking and laser masking are very useful. We can use pass masking by pressing P and listen masking by Ctrl Shift and drag. Although pass masking and listen masking are very useful and very quick masking technique, uh, there is some problem. You can remove the some parts of the mask area by pressing Ctrl and drag in both pass masking and listen masking. So to mask efficiently and very quickly, I used to work like this. First, I mask some parts of the area with post masking or liso masking, which is very quick. And if I want to remove some parts of the mask area, I reverse the masking and, and mask again with post masking or liso masking and I invert the mask area again, so I get the uh, desired result. <coughs> Shortcut Ctrl I to reverse the mask and 
I'm pressing Ctrl Shift and drag to mask this area again and I will use the M to mask press to remove this area from the masking and I will adjust some area by I'm using the mask brush here and by pressing Ctrl I, I get what I need for the masking I usually use this inverse method for masking uh, because the default Liso mask brush didn't behave as I expected I will show you what happened when you use the Liso mask brush to subtract the masking I can choose the Liso mask from here and drag to add masking to the mole. When I have chosen the Liso mask brush, I can subtract masking by pressing Ctrl drag. It seems simple, but the problem follows like this. I continue scabbing and when I want to mask again, I press Ctrl shift and drag. Uh, this time, instead of masking, it subtract the masking. I didn't get my put masking with Liso mask. This happened because uh, when I used the Liso mask brush the last time, I subtract the masking. So when I use again the Liso masking with shortcut, it subtract the masking instead of adding the masking. So it is very confusing when using this method of scabbing. So I don't use the Liso mask brush at all. I always use the technique I showed before. Okay everybody, I think this is about quick masking for scabbing workflow. Thanks for watching this video.